Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be cleaning some farm fresh eggs and I just wanna show you how I do that. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me. If you are new or returning, thank you for being here. I appreciate that so much. So I got these eggs from um, the homestead in North Carolina that we have. And these are the eggs. And so you see they're different colors and you know, sometimes you can have the same chickens and it'll be the same color. Um, one of the first things you wanna do is you wanna know how old your eggs are when you collect them. You also wanna know, are they any good? You know, how long has that egg been sitting? So that's what we're gonna go over. And of course, cleaning all the residue that's on the egg. So first thing you want to do is you want to run, go ahead and run you some warm water. And you want to use warm water mainly because um, it helps get the film off of the egg and it doesn't damage the egg. Um, it doesn't allow any bacteria to get into the eggs itself. If you use cold water, you could um, cause bacteria to transfer. So you don't want it hot, don't want it cold, you want it warm. So I'm gonna run some water in there. I'd say that's about enough. Then you wanna get another container of water and run some warm water over there. So one side is gonna be to soak the eggs and the other side is gonna be to clean the eggs. First things first, get your eggs. And you see all of that on there, but you wanna examine your egg, make sure it doesn't have a crack in it. You don't really want to put your eggs in the refrigerator. These were in the refrigerator though. My husband, we went back and forth on, should you put them in the refrigerator or not? Everybody does it different. It's a pretty egg. I'm telling you, when you crack a form fresh egg, like the color is so vibrant. These are some pretty filthy eggs, but I don't see any scratches. Well, not scratches, but any cracks in it. So now what you wanna do is you wanna place the eggs into the water, gently. Remember, this is just the soaking water and this water over here is also gonna allow you to see which eggs are good, which eggs are maybe um, one to two or three weeks old and which eggs are no good at all. And I'm gonna throw this container away because these were contaminated. So I saved my container for my store-bought eggs and I'm gonna use that to place them in when they're done drying. And we'll put our paper towels here. So if an egg is laying flat all the way down, that means the egg is good. 
if the egg is tilting on one side, but not floating, that means the egg is anywhere from um, maybe two to three weeks old. And you might want to check that egg before you crack it into whatever you're cooking because you want to make sure that that egg wasn't already turning into a chick. If the egg is floating to the top of the water, then that means that egg is no good at all. It's bad, throw it out. Because if you crack it, don't crack it. If you crack it, it's going to be stank. Right now, they're all sitting at the bottom. This one, let's see if I can zoom in a little. So, this one right here has a little tilt to it, so it's not a lot. I'm gonna move it around and see what it does. If it tilts back up, you see that? I'm gonna lay it flat like the other ones. Now I'm gonna let it go and see how it tilted back up on one side. That means it may be anyway, anywhere between two to three weeks old. So that will be one that you can still use it, but you need to check it and you need to sit it aside away from the rest of them so you don't get it confused. But all the rest of them are down. Well, maybe this one, let's see. So these two right here, that only has a slight tilt to it that one but this has a definite tilt it's not floating though so it still may be good but we'll sit that one aside and let's see let's move them around so we can see got to get them in the center because when they're on the edge you don't know if the edge is pushing them up that one's good let's check this one have no floaters so that's a good thing but this one right here I believe let me double check and the warm water is you know really loosening up that film on the outside so this one is good we're gonna put it over here in the clean water. Okay. I'm putting them in the center, that way I can see what it does. has a little tilt so we're gonna take that one and sit it over here we'll clean it later but that might be one that we might not want to use and that will be one of the first ones that I do use to make sure because that means it's a little older than those in the bowl over there so this little white guy here he's done That one has a definite tilt. It just rolled right back up. That one has a little tilt to it. That one's good, I think. Let's see. Yeah. This one in the center and see what it do. That one's good. I believe this was the one, the first one that had that tilt. Yep. Definite tilt. Because you don't want to crack that open, like I said, and it'd be a baby chicken there that was forming. 
So that one's laying there good. What do you think the chickens come from, baby girl? The butt. <laughs> okay, that one looks like it's good. It's kind of tilting from this view. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm like, the water's still moving. I'm trying to make sure. No, it's down. Okay. So those are the ones that we're going to clean now. We're going to pour this water out. And I will be sanitizing my sink and this pot. Please stop. So over here, so I can reach it. Now this is where things get optional. This is warm water, let's remember. Some people just clean theirs with warm water. I want to use, and you can use, apple, well not apple cider vinegar, but <laughs> <laughs> distilled white vinegar. I got apple cider vinegar on the mind because I got a, that little packet over there I'm gonna put in my water and well, drink it. Nice. This one is more of a cleaner. Like you could clean your sink and counters with this. A lot of people clean with this. They even do their glass, clean their glass with it. And it's not harmful. It's not a chemical. And you just need a cap full in there. So you can't just out. So I don't, you know, I don't want to just wash mine with, you know, water. Because I'm, I'm feeling like it still has something on it. And you're just gonna run that over it because that water should have loosened everything up off of it. I'm gonna show you the egg when I'm done. And you just rub your hands over it, get whatever dirt and remaining film off of it. Because when you buy your eggs from the store, you don't have to do this. See that? Good and clean. And we're just gonna place it over there on the counter and let it dry. Same thing with this one. Before, it looks pretty good just sitting in the water. And you're not going to be able to get everything off. Not one, one. I think it's so weird. Okay. There we go. I don't want to cook it in my hand. Make sure you wash your hands well when you get done doing this. I love farm fresh eggs. I cannot wait till I can have these every single day if I wanted to. We have animals on the um, homestead in North Carolina, but I will be, um, I'm trying to add, let me not say that. I'm trying to add rabbits to my homestead here in South Carolina as meat rabbits. They don't, they don't have cows. They used to have cows um, when me and Daddy first started dating. Um, Papa Joe had cows. Wow. So we have goats. Yeah, and ducks. Ducks, and they have rabbits there too. But I want to do rabbits. Um, I don't know when they got ducks. And I'm not rubbing it hard. It might look like it, but I'm not. My hand's actually gliding over. It feels better than an egg from the store, honestly. It's much more smoother. It doesn't have like those ridges on it. You want to touch it? Mm -hmm. Right. And you feel the egg from the store? 
is it one in refrigerator? Let's show the difference. Hmm? Oh, well, I don't have any because I didn't buy any. I thought it was still some in and your brother cooked the last bit when I was gone. I think they know the feeling number. Yeah, it's, it's more rigid, like like sand. So that's it for that, and you'll just let, some people let theirs sit out, um, and that's they just use it straight from their counter or their little basket or whatever they keep it in. And some people choose to put theirs in the uh, refrigerator. Let's see. Oh. So these are our eggs that we can use. These are our unsure eggs. They're not, they may be good and they may not. Um, before I make <laughs> anything, I will crack them in a bowl and make sure they're straight. So y'all, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you think about getting some chickens and maybe having some farm fresh eggs. They taste so much better than the store bought eggs. I'm, I'm telling you, I did not realize how much better they taste than that. So you can't go wrong with that. So y'all take care. If you like the video, please thumbs the video up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs the video down. It all helps the channel and lets me know the ins and outs of what I need to do. Um, leave me some comments down below and subscribe to the channel. Y'all take care and I will see you on the other side of tomorrow. Remember to stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, and I love you, but God loves you more.